One, two, three. One, two, three. Um, gosh, I would say, no, that's a good question. When I was recording my solo album, the first one, Dream of You, um, and I went online and I started getting involved in Twitter, and then I noticed people from Brazil started responding to me on Twitter, and then I kind of um, saw Rafa and Ivo and Bruna and there was lots of people that I that I met just kind of in that time. It was over a period of time. Um, so you know, I always think it was like you know up in five years ago or that that sort of time. Yeah. I was very surprised. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I don't suppose, you know, we were really aware of it. I mean, I think when the cores were really big, the internet was only developing. So it was very hard to know where you were big or, or where, where people were into your music. That, that was, it was kind of, the only way you could kind of find out was by a chart from the record company that would notice a spike in sales somewhere. Um, but apart from that, you know, no, not really. I, I, I didn't. And then, then I started noticing and then when I did the sort of Google Analytics on my own website, I noticed the hits that I was getting from Brazil. Um, and, and I was going, wow, that, that's amazing. I'm getting so many hits from this country, you know, this one country. Um, so, no, it, it, it's, I didn't know until I knew. I didn't. Did a moment ever touch your soul or take you to that um, It's okay if you don't remember this. No, I do, Danny, though, I do, that's the thing, I do. Um, I do remember, and I remember thinking, wow, these people on the other side of the world are really touched by my music, and that really touches me. I remember thinking, they're meeting in different parks and different places in Brazil to talk about the cores and talk about me and my solo career, and I found it just quite absolutely amazing I mean that that's an amazing thing to happen to anybody to know that that sort of thing goes on about you somewhere else in the world so I mean that's why we put it on YouTube and that's why we were uh, that's why I focused in on it because I, I did think it was really incredible I knew, I knew, but I needed to sign the deal. You know, I, I'm, I'm very um, superstitious about things, and I never want to say something that I'll do if I can't be 100% sure that I can actually make it happen. Um, I, I literally was waiting on a contract from the record company to come through to my house for me to sign to know that they were bringing me to Brazil and that I was releasing my record out here and that I could do concerts. Um, and I can tell you for a very, very long time, and I've said it a few times, but I really do want you guys to understand that you know, I have waited a very, very long time to come here. A very, very long time. Um, because I just think that we have a very special connection. And I think that you should never ignore that in life. I think it's something that you really need to chase. And it's been beautiful to meet you all. It's been so special to meet you all. And I don't know, there's something about that energy that I really believe in. More than anything else in, in life, I, I believe in a very positive energy. And I, I believe if you follow a positive energy, then you create more positivity. And I think that from you guys, just feeling that first initial thing when I saw you playing in the park on that video that you posted, um, from that to now, look at all the energy that that has created. What you did in the park has created all of this. That's why I'm here now. I know that's why I'm here now. It 
it was beyond my expectations in, in, in many ways. Um, I knew the country was beautiful. I, I, I knew that for sure, so I expected that. But still, you have to see a place to truly appreciate how beautiful a place is. Um, but I was kind of, again, very much overwhelmed by the way that you guys respond to me when I go places like a record store or a radio station. It's, um, you're very free with your love. You know, there, there are a lot of other countries in the world with a lot of people in them who are very cynical and are not open and, and don't wish other people well. And you guys wish each other well, and I know that you wish me well. Um, and that is incredibly powerful. So I was quite... I knew it's some of it, but I, again, I had to come. I had to come here to actually feel all of that, you know. Fans playing for me now, that's a completely new one. That I, that never happened with the cores, that never happened. I feel very, very privileged. And it was also just so lovely that you would do something like that for me because I'm always playing and singing um, for people and I do that because I completely and utterly love it. But it was really sweet to have you guys interpret my song in your way and also that I could see the work that went into it because you come from different parts of Brazil and you, you, you know you come together and you have to work on it together and I can see that you actually spend time to get the parts right and then you had the cellist the other day in and you had so many different uh, things going on the other day that, that was really interesting. It really it, it represents the to me it's like a new beginning um, and I know that this began a while ago but I really feel with the same Sun album that I've started on a journey that's that's kind of finally working for me I, I feel I've kind of struggled as a solo artist and I feel that um, for me it was an absolutely beautiful thing to be one of the cores but one of the byproducts of that was that people didn't really expect me to do anything on my own and I totally understand that but I needed to do this for me. This is all about like what I need to express and I shouldn't be curtailed in expressing myself as a musician, as a singer. Um, and so I felt it a little bit difficult to get people to understand that no, I am a singer, you know, and I do write songs and I do this. And, and now I finally feel like people are getting it and, and I really feel that people get it here. And that's, that's the new journey for me. That, that's, that's kind of really very, very special. And I, I feel it's only kind of onwards and upwards from here, you know. so many favourite moments from the last week, it's incredible. I've, in the Livraria, you know, when you guys were playing for me, that was a huge moment. Um, uh, the standing ovation for the Cartola piece, really, 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 really special. Um, uh, and just seeing you guys happy and smiling and singing along, you don't know what that means in a concert. When an artist has support like that from the audience, it, you actually dictate to the rest of the audience how they should behave. I don't know if you know that. Do you know that? We tried to. <laughs> no, but you know that you're literally saying to the rest of the audience, she's really good, you should be into this. Like, so it's like, for me, that's, that's, that, that, that's incredibly powerful. So you should know how much of the ball is actually in your court. I can, I can do a great gig and, and I, I try my best to do a great gig, but I'm at such an advantage with you guys sitting in the audience, literally by your movements, by your singing, by your actions, literally telling the rest of the audience that this is good. That, that's, quite, that's really powerful. We just knew that it was a very positive place. I, I knew that for me, I was going to be doing a completely different set. I knew that I had the new album to take songs from, to create a completely different set. I, I think there's a great energy when you do something somewhere else, especially somewhere with a very positive energy like Brazil. And it, it, it just made sense. It, 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 just made, it just seemed perfect in every way.
Sometimes it's um, a, it's a little bit surreal, you know, because I I I, I I'm just a person. I, I I get up in the morning, or I feel like crap, or I feel good, or, or you, do you know what I mean? Depending, and I go and I eat breakfast, and maybe I go to the gym if I'm being very good, and maybe I don't if I'm being very bad, and or I practice, and you know, for me, I feel like I feel like me. Do you, you know what I mean? So sometimes it feels like almost it's a dream. Like, like, like it's happening as a dream that's coinciding with my life and every day. Um, and I think it would be... I'm not the type of person who, who goes around thinking I deserve this or feels this is, this is normal. Of course I should have this. You know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't feel that way because I just don't think that's it's just the way I'm made I, 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 I don't feel like I necessarily deserve this in, in any way but I do love and appreciate the positivity of it um, um, it's a funny one it's like it, it, it's hard to it's kind of hard to describe my, my reaction because if you think of yourself getting up in the morning think of me getting up in the morning and that's how I feel you, do you know what I mean? So when I feel that you guys like me as much as you do and, and pay me as much attention as you do, then I, sometimes I go, oh my God, this is wild for me, you know? So that's how I feel, yeah. Hey, I could see it when you close your eyes. Well, I, I, I don't take anything for granted in life. I don't take anything for granted. And if something really special is happen, happening, then I want to be part of it and I want to give thanks for it. It's very simple. It's like a religion without the church. Do you know, to me, I, I, it's like, um, I, it's very important to me that I appreciate something that's wow, that's really, 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 really special that's happening. It's also about living in the moment. I'm very much about right now, not later. Okay, I have to plan towards, I have to plan a lot of things. But for me, it's kind of like, don't miss this moment. Because I, I don't want to be 70 and looking back and going, Sharon, what were you thinking about when that was happening? That was truly, truly, truly amazing. So I don't want to have any regrets in life. So I want to experience and be part of. And, you know, you, you guys are different. You, you guys are kind of um, very easy to be around. It feels very, very, very nice. Do you know what I mean? Like it feels very, very comfortable, and I feel very safe in the environment with you. Look, come on, you know, it's like that. I feel safe. So, so it's kind of, it, it, I believe in this. I, I, I just believe in saying thank you to people who are kind to me. I think that's really important. Your broken dreams not realized. You didn't know that. You are you kidding? Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's Oh well, thank you guys. Thank you very much for this. This is insane for me. Yeah, it's only well, like you. two months ago I would be doing this. this is, I would not believe it. Thank you very much. <laughs> oh, you were brilliant. Thank you guys. Thank you very much.